High fives are a common gesture of celebration and appreciation, but have you ever wondered where this tradition came from? It turns out, the history of the high five is more interesting than you might think. The history of the high five can be traced back to the 1970s, a time when a lot of new cultural and social norms were being established. In sports, particularly baseball, players would slap hands or pat each other on the back as a form of congratulation. But it wasn't until 1977 that the high five as we know it today was born. Glenn Burke, an outfielder for the Los Angeles Dodgers, is credited with inventing the high five. During a game in 1977, he greeted his teammate Dusty Baker with an open hand instead of a closed fist. Baker returned the gesture, and the high five was born. Burke was known for his flamboyant personality and love of dance. He was one of the first openly gay players in professional sports, and he saw the high five as a way to express his joy and connect with his teammates. Unfortunately, Burke's career was cut short due to injury and discrimination, but his legacy lives on through the high five. In fact, the high five has become a symbol of inclusion and acceptance in the LGBTQ community. From sports to everyday life, the high five has become a popular way to show excitement, congratulate someone, or just acknowledge a job well done. It's a gesture that transcends cultures and languages and is recognized around the world. In Japan, the high five is known as the guts pose and is a common way to show determination and perseverance. In some African countries, the high five is used as a way to show respect and unity. So, the next time you give someone a high five, remember that you're participating in a tradition that has brought people together for decades. And who knows, you might just be continuing the legacy of Glenn Burke, a trailblazer who helped make the high five what it is today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a high five and subscribe for more videos like this.